So I started as Frisia because that's where I actually live. Like uh, round about here is the city, the modern day Oldenburg where I live. As well as every Uper and versus 4 campaign ever I play as Oldenburg. No, not true, but usually ever patch at least once. I thought Frisia, well, they never moved like the Ang Anglia here. They moved at some point to Great Britain. And some of the Saxons as well, the Frisians just stayed here. And this wonderful ocean part here, we're actually called the Frisian Ocean at some point, or Frisian Sea, depends. So I couldn't go past this, and this is my story. And suddenly there's the 30 year jump in it. Uh, I colonized basically the rest of it, uh, 27 years or whatever. Um, I played this on, on weekends only. And then extensive sessions while watching series on the side. So I do, did not put in uh, all my brain to this, basically. But I, I think I watched um, um, The Blacklist or whatever on the side. Just kind of entertaining. Um, I did just basically had this on the main screen and colonize all the stuff. And then thought, yeah, well, um, I'm not touching stuff which is not my religion and culture. Which is, by the way, bad. Because it makes um, expanding here. A lot more difficult. Oh, Bohemia, nice. Um, <laughs> I never saw that actually there. And then I had to think about what to do next. Next was, by the way, war. I conquered this stuff and here two provinces or whatever. Uh, I don't think any more um, expansion here. There are also barbarians in these stupid hills there. Which is kind of a bit annoying, but um, otherwise uh, growing quite nicely. Thing is, I don't have a lot of slaves. Which is a problem because it's uh, problems are not really that great um, to plunder for slaves because they're not big enough. But more about that later as well. And it grew again another um, few years later. Um, some stuff up here is conquered, some stuff here. Uh, no wars here yet. Uh, Bel Sonacum is growing quite nicely. Um, I have here my wall host though. Which, these are kind of nice because they. Um, get stronger from their own manpower and stuff like that which is kind of helpful with this shit I have no manpower whatsoever and two great slaves wonderful you can just check here by the way um, uh, I can't actually see that here it's, uh, here I really have 62 which is nice um, it's also kind of a bit of a di different um, um, culture here but it's still accepted and everything it's the same culture group which is nice because this could actually penalties on that another 20 something years jump i'm at war with these guys now i think actually kind of a bit of a problem um but i solved that um you will let us see uh, they are all gone at some point but um spoilers and stuff i'm afraid of these guys because they're actually not uh, very small they have more um, cohorts than me and manpower and probably money as well they're also teching my teching is shit because i did not promote enough people to citizens in the early game but the slaves coming in which is kind of nice uh yeah well 88 now a lot of freemans i claim to get rid of the tribesmen at this point another 11 years later looks quite well i took some uh lands down here these two was some enemy of mine and I took these two provinces and I think I had my first war with these people um, yes uh, no actually it's just a cast better maybe this is safe uh, I did before I declared war I can't remember it was uh, two weeks ago so um, this is all quite nice uh, population centers not really yet uh, if you just look at stuff like this it's just eh, much better than these provinces here um, but I'm building actually forts at the border and stuff because this is important another 12 years later it's going well I think and uh, I'm actually converting this culture here I think so but I'm not sure can I see that I can see it here they're not assimilated no they're not uh, but it's all Saxonian here which is kind of nice and you will remember the Gothonians please and this Guthonia and this is Gothonia. Don't mention that. It's weird. And the barbarians are still up. It's kind of really annoying. I jumped two saves here. You will uh, first thing you will see is they broke. 
this is gone and I conquered the stuff from I think it was these guys but I can't re exactly remember or they split up before got the coastline and actively bring in my culture um, this is a point I, want to, I want to actually talk about is this button here if you have like a new covered uh, conquered province it is everywhere here and it's put uh, cultural assimilation then the government will do that automatically uh, changes is at the start it's very expensive 36 or whatever it costs right now uh, but then you don't have to spend the points by actually um, assimilate the pops the governors will do that for you um, we have even here the overview of the provinces here where you can see what they're actually doing which is kind of useful uh, kind of useful um, this is conquered as well so basically um, nearly everything of Denmark and we are going to the east as well which is important and forts I don't have any here yet because this I think is yeah that loyal like to a fort it's really annoying but this is already converted it's um, kind of a great system you can um, use to make people more happy because this is really bad if they are unhappy and revolt and stuff I have that actually once happening later on which um, took two provinces of me which is not very great and here we are another 40 years later this is basically the point where I started snowballing a bit um, yeah this provinces I uh, conquered um, just to get contact with Rome because Rome is in a republic and I had to uh, take a law yeah, United Saxonia you can do if you are um, Saxonian up here it's kind of great the local civilization level and everything is quite great I did not do that because I want to stay Frisia um, but to uh, change the government to take the decision right um, to uh, either autocracy a monarchy or a democracy you have to get uh, several um, laws and I can only take uh, never that one oh, here it is uh, increase council power right it's in laws I can only do when I border already a democracy in this case that is Rome why I got a quick border with these guys um, they were pretty not as dangerous as you might think because Sicily is coming anyway um, I did that and after that uh, I settled before this is a decision you can take as well settle the tribe you cannot uh, pack all your guys up and go somewhere else anymore and then um, basically became a democracy which is kind of neat <coughs> this is 600 now and we're converting some uh, stuff here everywhere it's uh, really slow but you see it's progressing I did a cultural um, assimilation first because of this um, opinion happiness modifier thing which is really terrible and slowly the slaves are coming in because um, I, I think I did I Siege Lutitia already? I don't think so, but this is kind of stuff I want. Uh, problem here was then still uh, the technology. Level 6, level 14. Yeah. Not enough citizen. I crash that. I solved that later. <laughs> Nearly a 25 years jump. I conquered this island. Um, they actually, I think it is a vessel of theirs or something. Uh, yeah, something like that and um, they did that for whatever reason. I don't know and this is my wonderful vessel I fed this stuff too. I wanted to keep this for myself because I wanted to build some forts here Against the barbarians these barbarians are still up, which is annoying, but these are gone, which is nice Um, she's just still not mine um, But I think I was like them as well. Yeah, this is actually a thing. I cannot um, Integrate nothing which is Kind of bleh. I did a little mistake there. And these guys with the iron, I tried to invade, that did not end well. So I had to turn myself to better iron sources, which is this one. I'm going the, for that next, I think. For that one, I can't remember exactly. Uh, this Sequania here will be there for a long time, and Rome is actually part of Sicily now. 
you know where that is going. The rest of the world still looks pretty normal. But these are bending together and stuff like that. Which is kind of interesting. <coughs> Population of 3400 now, which is pretty neat compared with um, Egypt or Carthage. Nearly got that. Um, also a major power, which is really nice. A 20 year jump. You'd see exactly what happened. The iron is mine. And to teach you, which is, is great. The problem with this is they are disloyal. I cannot actually recruit any of these dudes anymore. Um, I have somewhere an army with uh, heavy infantry, I think, at this point in time. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I have these guys. Which are, by the way, awesome. I later went uh, with um, just 30 cohorts of heavy infantry because reasons. And I think I'm actually preparing the warpool against these guys at this point. Um, so here we are. I annexed these guys that were still named Revolt. Again, don't question it. And these just randomly renamed themselves. I don't know why. It's just happened. And these guys are kind of growing, aren't they? And Sicily just basically crushed Rome. A quick 10 year jump. I think I can at this point recruit dudes again. Um, it was really horrible. Um, let's check on the culture map mode, which is encroaching here. This is slowly being uh, absorbed. This is, by the way, what happened. <laughs> because I had at this point too many slaves. <sighs> yeah, this just happened. And I'm at war with these guys. And I declare war on that as well. These two. And he, because he has access... It's a mess. And here's the revolt. This will go on for like... a. 10 years or so when I just decide at some point of oh, fuck yourselves and I just come for the revolt stuff because it's annoying. Parisia is basically gone and but I have iron which is nice. Uh, nearly a 20 year jump again. Um, these were actually two wars. I just conquered first uh, like these these, and uh, then had to uh, make peace with these guys because my manpower were running out, my money was running out and they got reinforcement and reinforcements and reinforcements as you know where that goes. This is now gone and uh, actually uh, yeah I'm trying to uh, integrate Swabia now this is wonderful I have some forts built culture looks nicely religion as well of course it takes forever you know they noticed that this was like nearly a hundred years ago it takes time but I have my iron and stuff and I have no idea who these guys are at war with. Doesn't matter. I have nearly the ex entire Atlantic coast here, which is nice. At least the this northern one. And the manpower is finally getting to it. One point two million is like insane. And there's not much to do at this point. It's not long until the game is over. At which point I'm just blobbing. And I'll send this later. Um, it's, it's 14 years or so to go. Bullshit. It ends uh, 725, I think. So not a lot of time left. Not a lot of more of assimilation going on. Well, most of France, at least. More than France, it is. A bit of cultural, con um, religious conversation. It's going to happen. Um, about 10,000, you get this great power thingy. Which is neat. I can basically interact with everyone. I think even with the Indians here. Ah, it's out of my diplomatic range. Oh, that's just too sad. I can uh, interact with these guys here. Egypt and he basically stops here. These are always banding together, but they have the little uh, incest wars here as well. Nothing to worry about. I <coughs> go to war with these and these guys as well. I th don't think I ever conquer this stuff. It doesn't matter. I had one invasion of Dumonia here. Didn't end well. They have like 400 cohorts. I couldn't even do it. Because I have no military, um, um, what is this, ideas. My tech is kind of okay now. I ca caught up. I get um, these later on as well. Which is nice and everything. Uh, my cohorts at this point. This was applied last, by the way. It was like today, actually. This is one wonderful 30 heavy infantry unit, um, which it takes 45 
uh, unit weight <coughs> to 1.5, which is insane. And just to conquer fast, while being safe, while the conquering, I have this uh, 30 stack somewhere here. No, not that one. Where's, where are these guys? Had them at some point. I mean, this was a little interim time where I did not have them, I had to re recruit them. It just basically um, light cavalry, which is really fast to conquer stuff. And then it was uh, 10 cohorts units first, but they got crushed from time to time. So I went to 20, they got crushed two, twice. And then I went to 30 because fuck it. Just to really quickly uh, take land from the enemy, which is really helpful. If you are um, into the mass sieging thing, because um, you actually want to take provinces like this that are not covered by a fort to take the slaves, which then ends you in this position, which is nuts. And I actually have to keep them happy as well. But there's that. Second last save. Uh, another quick war with this. This is I always save before I start a war because I'm not playing Iron Man. I do not care if I save scum sometimes. So it's for my personal enjoyment. Crush these. Which is actually not as easy as we think because by attacking these, I invite these mother guys with their 500 cohorts, which was a bit of a hard fight. These were easy, but these guys came over with their stupid boats all the time. Um, yeah, I'm bordering Sicily now, but it's a federal tribe. Thankfully, I got to Rome before Rome died because otherwise, I never could change um, to a republic. Yeah, well, crushing these two, get a bit of more land. Um, invaded these guys here a bit. Again, 11,000 guys. Not bad for little Frisia. This is the last save. It ends this year. But one thing, it doesn't slow down. As the Lars does on very large maps or whatever. I mean, look at the pop count. They actually don't drain as much resources as you might think. I um, have the most population at this point as well. Um, this is completely gone. This I had to, uh, I just uh, took two or three provinces here. Not provinces, um, cities actually only. Because I tried to keep the provinces together here. And this was too expensive because there are a lot of people in it. <coughs> Went all nice and dandy and everything. I had just declared this war. I, d I thought it ended in 720, uh, 750. But it doesn't. This ends um, 27 BCE, so it's nice. Well, that's not actually nice, but um, you can build your empire. Next time I will try Rome, I may even actually record that in tiny. I have to see. I just wanted to get have this dawn here, which is like annoying, you know? Just do that real quick. Ah, no quarter. Ah, no quarter. I get to make that go away. Have a nice little big font here. Um, still the same. <coughs> I ran with these like basically forever. A pop growth all the time explains this, at least in part. But look at the touristic Saxonian guys. It's five thousand. I just pretty good. Um, trading I'm not doing at all with the um, other guys because they actually and actively hate my very guts. Uh, Carthage is coming over sometimes and buy some stuff. Um, you can check that out in this map mode. I'm trading with like some of these guys who also want to buy some very important stuff for themselves. Um, I try to get <coughs> internal trade routes just to um, not the lever but the grain. Or prop growth and everything um, which is by the way no, we are starving. We have basically cannibalism in our capital, which is absolutely fine. I don't worry about it. Um, conversion of um, culture, pitch perfect. I have to spend a few points for that, but at this point it's very cheap. I pay only 15, it's okay. Um, religious, nah, not so much. I was too slow, I'm still converting uh, yeah, the culture because it's much more important to have the culture converted because then again it's like a 
32% only. We also have some nice techs. Um, tech wise, it's okay, right? I caught up, except for like Carthage. Um, all in all, I'm pretty proud. I'm more population than the Indians. Not that they get that lot out of India, just the north. There's not much here anyway. Again, all in all, quite proud. Was very fun to play a small nation. Um, I know of the problem that I have to achieve something with another nation that is not Fiji. Fiji is damn hard. I could have just basically go, pick all my guys up, and go to where the iron is. That would have been a possibility here. Let's go over there and take it. Um, probably been easier now. Seven thousand dudes, all bitey. Um, but I wanted to uh, stay home, basically, where I actually live and stuff like that. For that, this campaign was very much fun. With the too many manpower, it's actually insane as well. Uh, and next time, I was just going to play Rome, I think, and just conquer basically the Mediterranean as they did. It's possible. Um, people keep telling you, the game ends so quickly. Yeah, maybe. I'm waiting for a mod or actually in a DLC now that I can continue playing for like 100 or 200 years or so. Um, the blobbing at some point, you can just do that because they're not as unhappy anymore. Especially if you have like um, certain techs or inventions as they are called, uh, which mitigate their unhappiness. I think I have them all. It's actually really hard to... I don't get any um, military stuff anymore. To mitigate their unhappiness, which is basically um, what happens if you like blob with Rome, like nom, 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 to your cultural borders, and then expand outwards. You have to have these texts or convert them, otherwise, um, shitter will be happening, and that's bad. Even for the wrong culture, it's 16 unhappiness. It is in a city like here. Where is it? Actually doesn't make them unhappy. Why ever? I have um, some of these wonderful things, uh, and he is um, completely wrong. Let's check out on this guy. They are unhappy because of aggressive expansion. Governor is twistic, not twistic religion and stuff like that. It's like ah, uh, they are not really happy with this. And if your prince loyalty is low, and they are the wrong culture. Bad shit is going to hit the fast rotating fan very quickly. We have to keep that in mind. <coughs> Otherwise, um, I prefer this game over Ripple Vizalis every time. It has nice ideas with colonization, it's worldwide and everything, it's pretty fantastic, Ripple Vizalis, but the whole pop mechanic that you have actually split provinces, where some of these guys <laughs> just actually completely converted. Um, let me have another. Uh, I have, I have seriously no split things here. I have one Saxonian, seven Belgian, and one Tuistic, seven Druidic. It's a split problem. So this guy is happy and the rest of these guys are nah. It's kind of shit. Um, same with these guys. Belgian, but Tuistic, Belgian, but Tuistic. And the staffs come from wherever. Being sacked, like I don't know, somewhere down here or whatever. I'm being brought up to work. I love that very much and you have to actually um, pay attention to um, politics and stuff like that and, and when you play a tribe with all the tribal stuff you uh, don't have retinues anymore as far as I know. Oh, I don't think so. Actually um, automating armies is the one most wonderful thing ever and I can have just like some of them siege stuff and give them even more about what to do like defend borders or whatnot. Or just uh, independent operations, what I usually use. It's fantastic. Same with the boats. I put them on independent operations of hunt fleets and they hunt parts. Pitch perfect. I love that very much. Um, as for um, the entire government stuff, especially with all these laws you can enact and do things with, I'm very excited to see what the models come up with. The government system of this, I'm 
I basically ignored it. Didn't care a lot who is actually in power, but you don't want the populist faction in power. They are the worst. So you can play this to your advantage. Um, put even on lifetime elections or whatever. Or shorten, extend the term, depending on if you have a good rule at the moment or not. All this stuff is pretty great. Uh, have these guys happy here? Very important, obviously. Um, I lacked um, good generals for a long time, which is pretty annoying. And that together with the um, religion stuff, we are basically running our national population grow. All the time. <laughs> because I wanted more babies. Pretty cool. But you can uh, do a lot of shenanigans with that. Um, very good game. I'm waiting for more decisions, actually. What you can do um, as... Uh, Egypt, I know you can build the um, lighthouse, which is pretty neat. But there will be stuff coming, and I am um, very excited to see where this leads to. Anyway, I'm very proud of this. And next will be Let's Play of Rome, I guess. Because this cannot stand. But topping this, Rome is just too easy, right? You have iron to begin with. I fought without iron for like more than half of the game because I just didn't have any I'm sorry I had some nice horses here somewhere thankfully I think I don't even know where I got these uh, I was actually nearly start with them thankfully I had them otherwise I would be fucked and then tribes are strong because of the tenures they have from the clan stuff which is Cool. Also make use of mercenaries. If you have the money and you don't have that at the start, use your mercs. Anyway, thanks for watching this. This is a very fun game. Thanks, um, Paradox, for bringing this game out. And I will not put points in games because either I like it or not. And it doesn't mean anything. And I leave that to people like TJ who actually know their stuff and are journalists and get paid for it and things. Okay, up until the next game. See you then. Bye-bye.